All right, YouTube, it's time to talk about Google's new uh, programs there for preventing toxic speech or whatever the hell it happens to be. Uh, one part of me hopes this is just a smokescreen, sort of. They don't actually care about the issue. They're doing this to appease the social justice warriors, and it's possible. Uh, you saw Facebook do this. Facebook's like, yeah, we're going to crack down on fake news. And they didn't fucking do anything. They introduced a program in Germany to appease the Merkelites. And doing anything here. Uh, Facebook is just as filled with all sorts of weird shit as always, and it always will be because their business model collapses if it's not. It's just the way that Facebook happens to work. As far as YouTube, it's even further gone. You think you're going to be able to clean up the way that people talk on on uh, everything related to Google and all of these other sort of auxiliary sites and uh, programs, like when people are commenting using Discuss or something like that? Do you think you can actually automatically censor people? for their hate speech or trolling or something like that. No, you know what'll happen? It'll be like uh, what happened in the latter-day Soviet Union when people realize, oh, you can't say certain things, but we can use slang, and, and it'll be just fine. We'll basically invent a new language. Have the people at Google ever studied linguistic anthropology? Do they understand what a Creole language is? Do they... Do they comprehend the notion that language evolves and can easily out-evolve any program that they decide to build to censor people? It'd be like a, a weekly rotation of different slurs that just happen to be a, a little bit different. It's like when uh, 4chan said, oh, we're going to start calling black people Googles, and we're going to start, I, I can't remember the other terms that they dreamed up. The idea didn't really take off at the time because there's no actual threat of censorship. But yet you see this occasionally on the internet even now, these terms are occasionally used, they're understood by the people that are meant to understand it. What you're going to get is literally this uh, schismatic movement within the English language if you attempt to implement such a thing. Now, if your attempt to implement this is limited to, well, we want people not to threaten each other or constantly harass people in a criminal manner online, go ahead and implement the program. That's not going to bother most people. The only people that will be bothered by that are shit fucks that are technically breaking the law anyway. But when you're trying to say, oh, well, th saying this, you know, oh, global warming is a hoax. Uh, you know, Hitler did nothing wrong. White people, there's nothing wrong with them. I don't agree with gay marriage. Labeling them toxic and relegating them to some filtration system that YouTube or whatever happens to use is a terrible idea. I look at YouTube's filter, for instance, on my uh, channel. Now, I get thousands of comments at this point every day. I can't even read a small proportion of them. I apologize for that, by the way. I wish I could. I wish I had the time to do so. Uh, I, wish I, I wish I had the income to hire a staffer to do it for me. Or maybe I'd do that, and then I'd just have someone else make the videos. They'd just wear a, a Styx Hexenhammer mask or something. It'd be funny. But uh, I go to the, the filtered uh, messages, or I go to the filtered comments. Now, I don't have any filters set personally on anything. In, including URLs. Uh, I don't care what people say on my channel. I've never had a problem with it. Uh, unless they're harassing one of my subscribers, then I'll tell them, knock it off. Other than that, uh, you're free and clear. I, I don't really care. But YouTube apparently does, because there are tens of thousands of comments there that get caught up in the filter over very short periods of time. I can't even go through and okay them all. You think I have time to go through tens of thousands of filtered comments on a weekly basis? It's just not fucking happening, and YouTube does that automatically. They don't give you the option of shutting it off. Now, some of them contain URLs. I don't have a problem with URLs being blocked, per se. And some of them go through anyway. Like, I don't quite understand it. Like, even YouTube links, YouTube blocks its own links, but yet it occasionally allows other sites' links. Okay, great. I don't understand what you're doing, but keep doing it, whatever you're up to. They, if the URLs are blocked, that's one thing. But when people make a mundane comment, it's, it's not even something that's remotely worthy of being classed as spam or harassment. Or it's a totally normal comment, and yet it still gets filtered. Now, I think you're going to make that worse if you try to make it like a democratic system. Oh, what do you think is toxic? You do realize that people on the far right will manipulate this program. And they'll pretty soon be labeling things like gay is okay or, uh, or black lives matter is toxic comments. You do understand that, right? There's really nothing else you're going to be able to do about it. Now you can say, oh yeah, but we'll go through with our staff and sort of pick over them and, and then we'll, we'll use the public like we do with the CAPTCHA and stuff to, to mass sort of almost crowdsource everything. 
Then we'll go through, we'll narrow it down ourselves, and it'll be more simplistic, and we'll be able to build some sort of AI system that's capable of weeding out all the trolls. It's not going to happen. You're not going to stop trolling online, aka free speech. If it's not harassment and it's not something criminal like, oh yeah, I will kill myself, or something like that, if it's not criminal and it's not harassment, it shouldn't be filtered. That's, it's clear. You're a U.S. firm. This isn't, you're not North Korean YouTube or something like that. It's a terrible idea, not because the principle itself isn't happy-go-lucky and squeaky clean. Oh, yeah, we're protecting people online. We're making it a more hospitable environment for people. Yeah, you're also making it less hospitable for those who happen to have views that don't sync up with the mainstream. Now, it's not a violation of the First Amendment per se. Although, oddly, under net neutrality, like in an extended sense, wouldn't it technically be, since they're associated with the public service of the internet in general, wouldn't censoring non-criminal opinions there technically be a violation of the First Amendment? I'm not sure. That's, that's a, one of those weird things probably will go through the courts at some point in the next 10 years. Let's hope that it's decided on the uh, side of liberty. And by the way, all these like right-wing authoritarians that want to censor people, you helped lead to this problem. Yeah, it's the left primarily trying to do this through Google or whatever. But you got the ball rolling in the Bush era, the, the sort of teabaggers and so forth saying, oh, no more gays and stuff like that. Trying to censor people is inevitably a bad idea, especially when it comes to the internet. And you know, what Google's going to do is it's going to create an open season on their search engine for competitors. Open season on their video hosting platform, YouTube, for competitors. There will be people who will fly the coop, so to speak, propping up these other websites. Now, Google will remain dominant for quite some time to come at the very least. My hope is that they never fully implement this idea. My hope is that this goes uh, again, is just a smoke screen, goes into the dustbin, it's just sort of experimental, or they're not exporting it to any of their major platforms or anything. This is some, some pet project of theirs for some much smaller site that 10 people use. That's my hope. It's similar to like Facebook fake news crap. There, it's. Facebook shouldn't be making that determination. People should share what they want. It is a, a primarily anarchic style of social media site where individuals drive the content by linking to it or making content or whatever they happen to be doing. For YouTube, it's solely about content making and then uh, connecting with that content, interacting with it. So you've got individuals that are much more popular than entire corporate firms, multinational firms with billions of dollars. That's what the internet is like. It's how it should remain. It's the power of the internet. It's also what keeps people using it because it's entertaining. It's fun. Now, yes, sometimes trolls take it too far and they say things that could be construed as criminal harassment. But most trolls just make diarrhea jokes. Most trolls don't get into that sort of stuff. If you want to really, if you want to find something to crack down on, why don't you crack down on censorship from other countries? Why don't you go after them? Use the same funds you're using for this to go after Turkey when it tries to, sh to throttle these services, or Germany when it tries to censor them, or the EU courts in general. Why don't you tell them to screw off? You're a US firm. Angela Merkel is not a, the Google CEO, so to speak. So I think it's a bad idea, but I mean, time will tell if they even implement it. Because they've these large web firms have a tendency to make a big fuss about how they're going to implement some grand sweeping change like that. And it either never gets implemented or it's half-assed or they scrap it because they figure it's non-working. In this case, I think that number three would probably be why they would not end up using it fully because I can't see it actually stopping any form of speech on the internet. People will just develop slang. They've been doing it for thousands of years. They'll develop a whole new language of slurs and, and ways to harass people. And there will be no recourse for it for people like Google because they'll use innocuous terms that are cobbled together in certain combinations to be stand-ins for, for unkind terms for other groups of people they might seek to go after. And you can't censor them because maybe they contain the word Google. Maybe they contain commonly used words like double they or something like that. It could be anything. They can make up their own pseudo language. And there's nothing, there's no algorithm that's going to be able to stop them from doing this. Or not without enormous difficulty, I should say. It wouldn't be worth it. The, uh, 
the reward would be far too small to pay off as far as the amount of effort and tinkering and the amount of time, honestly, that would be required. And as soon as you manage to tweak your program to actually compensate for whatever fake ass language they've created, they'll just create another one because the possibilities are limitless. They'll start talking in Portuguese just to get around your censorship. They'll start uh, making a hodgepodge of seven or eight different languages. You won't even know what they're saying. You'll, you'll need uh, cryptographers to figure it out. That's about all. Peace out.